Hi everyone, in this video, we will see how you can prepare for the final NPTEL exam or what they call as the proctored exam of programming in Java course. Okay, we will take a look at the certification criteria, the exam pattern, what are some important questions and what should be your preparation strategy so that you are able to maximize your score in the exam. Okay, so without wasting further time, let's start with certification criteria. Now there are two conditions which you have to satisfy so that you can get an NPTEL certificate. First is you have to score at least 40% in the upcoming NPTEL exam. And along with that, average score of the assignments you have submitted over the last three months should be at least 40%. And remember that when calculating your average assignment score, only your best eight assignments are considered out of the 12 assignments given in the course. Okay, so you have to satisfy both of these conditions. And if you fail to satisfy any of these conditions, you will not be eligible for the certificate. No matter how much marks you are scoring in the final proctored exam, if your average assignment score is less than 40%, you will not get an NPTEL certificate. And vice versa is also true. Now, if you are getting confused in calculating this average assignment score, what you can do is, Take a screenshot of your weekly assignment scores from the progress tab and send that screenshot in the telegram group mentioned in the description. And I will let you know if you are eligible or not. Okay. Now let's have a look at the exam pattern. Many of you people have this query like what type of questions would be there in the exam. So make this very clear. There will be only MCQs and the paper would be entirely objective. Only the type of questions you see in your weekly quiz assignments would be there. That means there could be MCQs, multiple choice questions, in which only one of the options is correct. Or there could be MSQ, multiple select questions, in which more than one option could be correct. And both of these type of questions you have seen in your weekly quizzes. And only these type of questions would be there in the exam. Well, 90% of the questions would be MCQs, multiple choice questions. And almost 10% of the questions would be MSQ multiple select questions. There won't be any programming assignment type question. There is no need of coding. All you need to do is select options. You don't need to do any kind of programming there. Okay. But there would be objective questions based on Java programs. Similar to what you see in your weekly quizzes, you will be given a Java program and you have to find out the output of this program or what are the errors in the program and there will be no negative marking okay so guys don't leave any question unattempted at least attempt each and every question there will be 50 questions in the exam and the question paper will be divided into three sections section a section b and section c and each question will be of two marks so your exam will be of total 100 marks okay and section a will have 10 questions and section B will have 15 questions and section C will have 25 questions. From the last two times, the exam pattern has been like this and probably this time also it would be like this. Okay. Now let's see what are some important questions for the exam. Almost 50% of the questions in your exam will be based on your assignments, either directly or indirectly. Either there would be a question from your assignments as it is or with a little bit of modification. So almost half of your question paper would be based on assignments. And in this course programming in Java questions are asked from previous year assignments also. So the most important questions for programming in Java turns out to be current quiz assignments and previous year quiz assignments. And I will leave a link in the description for all of them. So you can practice all those important questions. Not all the questions will come from assignments. There would be some general questions like HTML is case sensitive or not, or what data structure do recursion use. So these kind of questions would also be there, but mostly it would be like assignments. So what should be your preparation strategy? Well, that depends on how much marks you want to score in the exam. If you just want passing marks, you should be able to solve all the weekly quiz assignments on your own and assignments of not only this year but previous year assignments also. Okay. 
if you are able to solve them all by yourself you can easily get a certificate in this course and keep in mind when you are practicing assignment questions make sure you read the detailed solution or explanation because sometimes questions can be made from the explanation itself okay the next thing that you can try is revise the lecture slides or lecture notes provided in this course i will leave a link in the description for that as well watching all the course videos would be a waste of time so it would be better if you revise the lecture slides or the ppts only now if you want to score high in the exam like you want elite or gold certificate kind of thing then this is what you should do in addition to solving all these quiz assignments previous year assignments and revising lecture slides what you can do is you note down the topics discussed in the course which you can get from the lecture slides and study all these topics from some other source like youtube or some reference books and you can try to practice some objective questions based on these topics of java programming covered in this course practicing all these things will give you more knowledge so that you can score high in the exam and these are the exam day guidelines and all these would be there on your admit card as well so make sure you read these carefully and remember to take the admit card and aadhar card or any other photo identification proof along with you and you don't need to carry any paper for rough work to the exam center it would be provided then and there but you have to carry your own pen and pencil for the rough work you will not be provided with any kind of code editor or ide or compiler you have to find the outputs of the questions all by yourself and you will be provided with an on screen calculator for calculation purpose and i will leave a link you can check out that calculator and make yourself comfortable with the user interface of that calculator and that's all i have for you today in this video thanks for watching and i wish you best of luck for your upcoming exam if this video help you don't forget to hit the like button if you still have any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video